Last week, City News was the first to tell you about a Toronto police sergeant who admitted to assaulting a man in a Scarborough parking lot. But what wasn't mentioned in court? Accusations that the sergeant responded to his own crime and told police on scene to leave without reporting the incident. Sergeant Robert Gowdy of 41 Division pleaded guilty to assault after he pulled over a suspected drunk driver and dragged the man to the ground. The incident happened in the early morning hours of Halloween 2015. Court transcripts say Gowdy did not report the stop and at no time did he arrest the driver. Instead, he drove away in his cruiser and left as the man remained motionless on the grass. Gowdy said he believed the man was conscious. According to this report on the internal police investigation, the sergeant allegedly returned to the scene where officers were directed by a sergeant, subsequently identified as Gowdy, to clear from the call, and the incident was abandoned without further investigation or documentation. It's my understanding that that is in fact incorrect, and that's not what happened on that evening. Police Union President Mike McCormick says allegations of Gowdy supervising the scene of his own crime have not been proven and will be addressed during the officer's police tribunal. That's why we're waiting for it to go before the tribunal. That's why that information was not brought out in uh, the agreed statement of facts that was put forward by the Crown. Pick me up, let me outside there to die. We found the injured man at his home today. He said through his door that he felt the officer got a slap on the wrist, but he adamantly refused an on-camera interview. Because I am afraid. According to the internal investigation report, it's alleged the SIU, the province's police watchdog, was only made aware of the case 18 days later when Toronto Community Housing told police the interaction was caught on surveillance video. I don't know, reading between the lines, it sounds to me like this would have never gone anywhere had this video surveillance not come out at a later point in time. Ian Scott is the former director of the Special Investigations Unit. He says this case underscores the bigger problem of delays in notifying the SIU. The report also alleges that at 4.13 that morning, Toronto Police Communications received a call about an officer assaulting a member of the public. That was 13 minutes into the incident. So why at that point was the SIU not involved until about 20 days later? Again, you know, once it was investigated and the determination of what the injuries were and stuff, that's when the SIU got involved after the investigation. In my view, this also speaks volumes about the need for body-worn cameras for police officers so that we can have a better sense of what's going on in these matters. Gowdy was given a conditional discharge with six months probation, after which his record will eventually be cleared. McCormick says the officer's disciplinary hearing should be held within the next six months. Toronto police are still reviewing his suspension with pay.